In the meshing step, we are going to divide our rectangular domain into cells or control volumes, and we are going to have a lot more cells than shown schematically over here. And if I go back to the black box framework, I want to point out that we are affecting the numerical solution here. We're not affecting the mathematical model. Um, rather, we are affecting how it's going to be solved numerically. In particular, what are the selected points at which we want uh, the fluent solver to calculate the primary unknowns? Go into the project page, right click on mesh, and select edit. And this will take a couple of minutes to come up. I will get rid of the usage tips window. You have to be a little bit patient for the geometry to, to come in. And if I um, expand this over here, I see our surface is uh, has come in. And FFF stands for Fluid Flow Fluent. I will highlight mesh and go into the mesh context menu. And to get the default mesh, I'll say update. Okay, that seems like a fairly regular mesh. It, there's a little bit of jaggedness. Um, and actually for, you know, simple geometries, regular geometries, you can, you can use the face meshing option. Uh, click on the rectangle and then click here. Okay. Uh, and now say update. It looks a little bit straighter to me, uh, probably doesn't make much of a difference, but the face meshing is tends to be a useful option for simple geometries. Um, we need to have a lot more cells to get, um, you know, to, to get a reasonable numerical result. So what I'll do is first I'll control the number of divisions in the horizontal direction. I'll say 50 for each of these edges. Let me try turning off the mesh here. And then if I highlight geometry and then go to, um, say, edge selection filter and select this edge and this edge, holding down the control key, um, that'll let you select multiple entities. And then actually I need to come back into mesh and select sizing. So since I selected those two edges, uh, those two appear under geometry, and I'll say number of divisions is equal to 50, and I'll say this is a hard setting, and typically it uses only for simple geometries, because for complex geometries, it might not be able to get the exact number of divisions that you want. And then I'll say update, and if I say display, show mesh, uh, I'll see that, you know, I have the uniform divisions in the horizontal direction. Now I need a lot more resolution in the vertical direction, particularly near the plate. So what I'll do is I will add an edge sizing on the vertical uh, edges. So I'll say sizing and I will click on the, I can turn off the mesh, I guess, and Click on the left vertical edge, hold down the control key, the right vertical edge, say apply, um, and I'll say number of divisions is equal to 100. And I was playing around with it, and, and 100 is, uh, it works fairly well. In fact, you could even go probably lower than that. And again, I'll say this is a hard setting and I will say update. And then I'll say show mesh. And uh, I can zoom in using the right mouse button. Okay, I can translate using uh, the middle mouse button and holding down the control key. So I can take a closer look at the mesh. I can say zoom to fit. Now, if your mesh gets askew, um, so let's say you get something like that. Um, this is showing a three-dimensional view of really a 2D domain. So ignore this, you know, this three-dimensional view. This is just a visualization artifact, which is not important here and it's confusing. So look along Z and, and this is our, uh, you know, uh, the, the control volumes, except that if I go 
if I zoom in near the plate, this, you know, this is, uh, what is it? It's 0.5 divided by 100. It's 0 0.005. And you'll get only, you know, a few divisions in the boundary layer. So let's next refine the mesh uh, near the plate. So I'll just zoom out and I'll say File, Save Project.